Hello everybody, welcome back once again to Let's Play Deus Ex. Did I pronounce that better this time? I'm hoping so. Yes, <laughs> let's say we left off. We started the game as uh, Adam Jensen, some kind of ex-SWAT cop, working for Serif, David Serif, of Serif Industries, who uh, pronounced uh, pr 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 uh, manufacturing some kind of augments and some anti augment people don't like it. So they stormed the place, took me through a plate glass window, and as a result, I had to be heavily augmented to survive. So I am now like Steve Austin with bionic eye, bionic leg, bionic arms, bionic. Hmm, Ooh, we don't know that bit. Anyway, I digress slightly. So, anyway, we came back faster, stronger, different, uh, apparently looking a little bit different. As I just quickly look around here whilst I'm talking. And uh, went back to our place of work where people, oh, you look different, although I couldn't see any difference. I thought I looked exactly the same, but that's me. And, uh, yes, we were told to get our retinal scanner sorted and uh, meet Serif at the helipad. Because it's quite a dire situation here. Hostages have been taken at their manufacturing plant and they need help now. So what did I do? I went and explored, put my feet up, went into my office, checked my emails, had a cup of coffee, overheard some gossip in the ladies' toilets and all that kind of stalling tactics. <laughs> and as a result, the hostages were killed. And here we are now trying to mop up the pieces. So yes, that's exactly what we're doing now. As I pick up these... Pick up these, these these cardboard boxes, and I, as I pick them up, I'm reminded heavily of uh, such glorious days of Metal Gear Solid, where, they, where you could hide under them. It was quite the revelation at the time. So yes, I've been reliably informed. Well, I say reliably informed. I've been informed that there's possibly no more time missions such as that, because it was rather unfortunate. That the one time I decided to start exploring is the one time that things go horribly wrong for me. Not for me, for my hostages. They didn't. Supposed to be rescuing. Okay, let's talk to these people first. You're the Seraph security guy, right? The one we were delayed for? Hope you know those hostages are dead because of you and your boss. Yeah, well, some people were stealing prescription drugs, buddy. That's a heinous crime in itself. Stupid man, how dare you question me? What the hell is it with your boss holding us up? Does he know that he cost his own people their lives? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, yes, fine, fine. Maybe I should not have gone into the ladies' toilets after all. I eh? And we can't go through here, apparently. It's a flaming cloth thing. Can I go through cloth here? Actually, no, it's not cloth. There's a grill behind it. I'll let you off. <laughs> Alright, so yes, enough dilly dallying. Let's crack on with the game and see if we can salvage something out of this damn mess. Shut the door. Yeah, uh, apparently this game is quite rewarding if you explore a lot. So yeah, my usual slow play, slow paced playthrough is probably going to be even slower as I try and my best to look through every nook and cranny for collectibles and stuff to help me on my way. So you'll have to bear with me if you're wanting something quite expertise. Oh, Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. All these things are new to me, I don't know what the hell they do. Check my inventory. So, uh, we got a beer last time as well. Uh, if I open the menu, you can examine. So it gives us five health. But because it's alcohol. Imbue the drinker with a small increase in damage resistance. Each additional beverage consumed will increase its effect. Adverse effects will include blurred vision. Yes, unsurprisingly, I suppose. A cyber boost. Examine. Replenish a single energy cell. Use from the inventory. Packed with proteins and carbohydrates. For those energy boosts that you require. What is this? At any point during the game, you can access the in-game menu. Yes, thank you. I've already used it, dear. So we can move trash cans about, can we? Can we throw things? Oops. <laughs> Way to give away our position. Okay. You probably... Well, look at this. Rather suspect metal plate. 
Oh. Nice. Ah, you see? Look at that. Exploration gets us a credit chip. So it's not all in vain. Because as I say, things are going to be just slow and steady. I'm going to savour the game. Savour the sounds, the sights. Not quite the smells, but I'm just going to take my time and enjoy. And I hope you enjoy it with me. Right. Uh-oh. Is that a good guy? That's a good guy. They're in green. Yeah. Now that the horses are dead, I suppose there's no rush. <laughs> so I can feel less guilty about taking my time now. Hey, guys. About freaking time. SI Security? Yeah. Name's Jensen. I know. You used to be on Team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I guess the more things change, the more they stay the same, don't they? Meaning what? Meaning corpses seem to follow you around. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can get your people some justice. Yeah. We'll get some info. I'm gonna need some intel before I head in. Fine. What do you want to know? How many purists am I looking at down there? I don't have an exact number. So far we've spotted three in the courtyard, maybe a dozen or so inside. But that's a sketchy estimate at best since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your intellicams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well, someone inside must be tech savvy, because all we're seeing is a loop. For all we know, there could be five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on the recycle military bill. You mean he's augmented? Seraph told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his hogs made him do evil shit, so he ripped him out. Now he's got a whole crew of gullible gangbangers ready to kill for him. As we've already seen. Realistically, how much time do I have before you guys breach? According to protocol, none. According to your boss, so far the press hasn't found out about the murders, but I can't guarantee that someone somewhere isn't going to let it slip. And when that happens... That almost sounds like a threat, Commander. It's not. But you didn't hear the phone call, Jensen. Eight innocent civilians screaming for help while choking to death on poison gas. And all we could do was stand here and listen. So, anything else you want to know? Eh, not particularly. I think I've heard enough. You sure? Wouldn't want to make your boss unhappy. I got it from here. Like we got a choice. Sorry about this. I, I did change the uh, audio volume for the dialogues because somebody said to do so, but it's still it's a little bit loud. I'm gonna try put it there. That'll do. I think it's a little bit too loud. All right. So uh, this, that doesn't doesn't also purist fanatics in there. And uh, their leader is an ex-org. Although I don't think it would be very easy to rip out augmentations, personally speaking, but uh, you never know. Oops. Sounds like you've got a cold, my friend. Jensen, you're the guy we've been waiting for. Jesus Christ. Look at you. The goddamn tank. Yeah. Thanks. Is that a compliment? I've been working out. Oops. I'm gonna think this might be easier with that bloody keyboard and mouse. <laughs> hey ho, do do do, wee! I don't know why, but simple pleasure like picking up objects and throwing them in games just really amuses me. Especially with dead bodies. <laughs> What's this? Painkillers? Picked up one painkiller, what do they do? Probably cure pain, <laughs> but hey ho. In a temporary increase of 25 health points. Temporary increase. Oh, this will increase its health above maximum. Once these extra health points have been re depleted, they will not regenerate. 
And the effect is cumulative and can be stacked to 100% of the base health bar. Alright. Oh, I got something else as well. Sorry. I got another beer. Oh, it's just the same, just a different type. This is Heifer Crocken beer. <laughs> so we got one one bottle of Heifer Crocken and one can of Maharaja Hot Devil Ale. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Little time you got here. This tour will take you to another roof overlooking the loading docks. Best way in. Now hurry. Now hurry. It's a bit late for hurrying, isn't it? <laughs> the hurrying part went out of the window a long time ago. Ah, now we're here. That makes sense. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Okay, so we got frontal assault. Or building roof. Well, I have got a little pistol with me, so I am not really one for frontal assault right now. Uh, but then again, this map isn't really too uh, descriptive. Alright, uh, just. Uh, Alright, a couple of things before I delve too deep into this current set of updates. First of all, Jensen himself. Now, I was going to play Jensen out as I. Th pictured him to, to be in terms of personality and traits etc and he seems to be rather grumpy <laughs> uh, so I'm going to play him out as a pretty, pretty much of a I'm going to play him out as a jerk to be perfectly frank with you he's already uh, gobbed off at Pritchard and other people so yeah he's going to be pretty snappy not evil or anything like that but just uh, likes to do things his own way and as for stealth or run and gun sort of choice, I think I will try and be more stealthy, but maybe a little bit of a mixture of the two, so we'll see how it pans out. We'll go with the flow. I've looked through the augments off camera like I said I would, and I've picked the augments which I feel I would like to play with. And so we'll uh, upgrade those as we see fit when the time comes. A lot of fire. Okay. I heard something there. What's this? Guards tutorial. Getting too close to any guard is a risk. Is it You're better off staying far away from them. Learn their patrols and time your moves accordingly. If you can avoid it, it's generally better not to engage them. Sure, a lone target may be tempting, but you never know. Oh, come on, dear. Avoid? These people kill innocent hostages. You think I'm going to let them walk away scot-free here? I seriously doubt my revolver is silenced. So I may have to take this guy down some by some other means. So let's see if we can actually make use of the takedown feature. He's apparently got his... Has he got his back? I can't see the distance very well. Has he got his face to us or his back to us? That's his back. Okay. Hello. Such an easy shot, but so risky. <laughs> right. Seeing as he's not moving, we will sneak around here. Oops, it is. Okay, so we've got one guard here now. I don't. There seems to be another guard over there. You can see just about another blip. Oops. Careful. 
Not to make a sound. Make a sound and it's dangerous. Stealth. Being stealthy hinges on sight and sound. Crouching down will assure you are making the least amount of noise.